Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's ISAG um, scrutiny meeting. Um, item one are apologies for absence. Um, I've received apologies from Councillor Paul Turner, and we have Councillor Andrew Cooper substituting. I've also uh, had apologies from Councillor Michelle Cook and Councillor Sherry People, who, uh, who mentioned they weren't going to be available at the, at the last meeting. I don't think we've got any other apologies, so I think other than that, we're, we, we, we're good to go. Um, item two are declarations of interest. I have none. Does anybody else feel they have any? Excellent. So item three is an update from me. No real update because we're sort of coming up to uh, end, end of the season. Last, last, uh, last scrutiny uh, meeting in the... Uh, in the year, it's a lot, a lot of the football in the last match of the year. Um, so, other than sort of saying thank you very much to to, to all members of uh, committee for uh, for the hard work that they've they've done this year, um, and and certainly supporting me as well as, as as chair. So, so thank you very much. I just wanted to put that on record, and also thanks to Demo Services, Joe in particular for for her hard work. Um, and also to mention that we've done one more meeting on ISAG than any of the other scrutiny meetings. So I, I feel that that's, that's an achievement. I mean, you, you've got to be a winner, haven't you? Um, item four are responses to reports of infrastructure safety and growth scrutiny committee. So I'll be attending cabinet um, tomorrow to um, present the recommendations that we did, uh, that we came up with from the last meeting on, on EV charging and the... Uh, Sustainability Board report. Um, so that'll be quite interesting, I feel. And um, I think it probably would be a good thing if, if as we've not got another meeting um, before the end of the year, I'll, I'll, I'll write to everybody just to, uh, to update them on that afterwards. Um, item five are considerations of matters referred to um, the scrutiny committee from cabinet or council and there are nothing new so item six is the draft annual report which has been circulated so that's the the report in i think my name for the work that we've done on this on this committee um and that then goes to full council in maybe maybe june or july i think for i think first or second meeting of the of the council year, I think. So, any questions or comments on that? Is everybody happy, content? I think we've all done a wonderful job. Ben, I mean, it's a it's a statement of fact, chair, of what we've done throughout the year, uh, and I think, as we see every year on this committee, um, we've managed to pack quite a lot into the agendas. So, uh, congratulate you for that, chair. Okay, so. Um, we need a mover and a seconder, so I'll take happy take you. Happy to move, Andy. Second. All those in favour? Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, we're cracking on. Forward plan is item seven. Um, I don't think really we can we can sort of discuss this in too much detail because we haven't got another meeting till. The new calendar is agreed, so it's difficult for us to to um, to put anything on there. We're not going to fit another meeting in before, obviously, election time. Um, item eight: our working group updates, and I don't think there's anything further from uh, from this from the meeting in in March. So on to item nine, which is the work plan, and I guess I think. Uh, Again, we've there's, it's it's we can't really add anything on at the moment. I think we've we've got a list of of items already in there that would take us through into next um, next season, so to speak. Um, there's the quarterly updates that are sort of standard items for um, future high street fund and the uh, dual stream recycling. Um, and I think we're going to retain probably the town hall proposals as well on there. So um, other than that, I don't think there's anything to, to add unless any other members got any 
comments? Ben. Sorry, Chair. Just one, just one thing. There's, there's some things on here that um, that we've we've started work on, like the the, the working groups and the yeah. and then and then there's things obviously that are, are sat on there that we were hoping to look at this year, but we've not had time to. Um, can we just get a commitment that obviously there are elections in May, um, and also we don't know if hopefully you will be chair next year, but, but we. There's, there's obviously Thank you so much. Guarantee. For that um, but can we get a commitment from, from whoever does chair this committee that, that them work streams will be continued on? Um, I, I'd like to suggest that is the case because I think there's some things there that we that are really important for us to look at, um, and it'd be a shame to see them drop off if if there was to be a change of chairman. I think uh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm happy to uh, currently to be able to support the work plan, the current work plan, and keep those items on. Obviously, it's for the the committee in what form that might be made up of to uh, to decide that. But I think, as we've spoken about it in this meeting, I, I think that should be should be honoured. Um, any other questions or comments? No. Good. Okay. So item ten is exclusion of the press and public. Um, as we've got confidential information in the next uh, next item, so I need to I need to read this so that in accordance with the provisions of the local authorities executive arrangements meeting and access to government, England regulations 2012 and section 100A part four of the Local Government Act 1972, the press and public be excluded from the meeting during the consideration of the following business, on the grounds that it involves the likely disclosure of exempt information as defined in paragraph 3 of part 1 of schedule 12a to the act and the public interest in withholding the information outweighs the public interest in disclosing the information to the public so i need a, a seconder please thank you john uh, all those in favor excellent so thank you everybody that's been been watching or as or will be watching um, and i think we'll cease the uh, the, the video thank you